This is our second prototype. It's really designed to be the ultimate adventure machine and as such it seemed quite important that it should fly. It's a cross between an eagle and a monkey, which I think makes it uh, a meagle, uh, like a flying ape, a, a flake, but uh, probably just, just call it a venturo. So we have <laughs> put a power motor on the <laughs> We put a power motor on the back of the Venturo. I, di I didn't, I wasn't the test pilot. We had a test monkey, um, Brian, and uh, yeah, he's very up for the job. Well, I can't really understand what he's saying, so I'm assuming that he's saying yes. He did a great job, landed, still alive, and much is better than NASA's monkeys. We'll be working on prototype three now, refining the attachment between the bike and the power motor so that it can be done faster. Maybe there's a lion and you need to get away. You can't be there for fiddling around for too long. I feel like everyone needs one. Why not soar above the traffic uh, on your commute into central London on a flying monkey bike? Aside from the fact that there's an exclusion zone and you'd be shot out of the sky. Why would you buy a motorbike that can't fly?